Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Well, what have we here? Uh, it's a podcast. Fine. And what excitement we have today. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Mrs. O'Mara right out of the gate wanted me to, uh, as I show you my love cup, uh, Mrs. O'Mara <laughs> wanted me to let you all know that uh, there are a limited supply of the uh, coffee mugs uh, available. So we know a lot of you might want to be uh, doing that around gift time. So please be aware of that, that we, uh, we are running a little bit low on uh, coffee mugs. So if you can uh, get yours, that would be there. Josh has got it right there. Yeah. There, show that, you know show that are, coffee Mike. mug again there, Josh. Yeah, go full screen, Josh. Show that thing. There you go. Let's see you in big screen. That be- There it is. Look at that beautiful thing. Mike. Uh, they're Nine days out from Halloween, buy one of our spooky mugs. And you can put uh, anything you want in there. Witch's brew, if you like. Liquid heroin. No, don't do that in there. You know what you could do is soda. I can't and a- control what they put in there. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? You can't. You shouldn't urge them to do heroin. I, That's I not wasn't. Good. Okay. Are you okay? But it's, but it's Are you great okay today? You, around the neighborhood. I just want to. Sometimes I notice Rob's energy uh, when he comes into the studio, and I wanted to make sure he was uh, he was okay today. Is Mike, everything I'm, okay? Because I know you, you know, and sometimes I I'm worry about you. More the same than I ever was. <laughs> no, I, yesterday you were all like like giddy and obnoxious. And, I was and, you excited know, that, to have I wanna, you back. I want to give the listeners a little tip. All right. All right. That giddy and obnoxious is the way I like Rob because that's the way he is most of the time. <laughs> when he's not giddy and obnoxious, I worry about him a little you bit. You mustn't worry, Mike. All is well. Uh, uh, but I was going to suggest- He wouldn't you tell know, me if there was something wrong. Uh, I think the best thing to do with the mug, if you can, is a fruit juice with a block of dry ice. So it looks like a creepy cup of something. Then you've got something right there. I was really thinking more along the lines of, uh, you know, it just uh, what you would drink in the morning. I made a great cup of coffee. And one of the nice things about coming back home is my coffee, my Cuban right. coffee that I freshly grind every day now that I've become a coffee drinker and not uh, mm. not worrying about this. And I don't want to cast dispersions on foreign countries, but I will just say this. is this. the way wars start, Mike. This is the way wars start. You're going to cause yeah, Does trouble. he sound far away to you, Josh, a little bit today? No, I think he sounds fine. Okay, because it sounds a little far. Turn yourself up to me. I know yesterday bit. he sounded great. Today he doesn't sound great. And yet I touch nothing. It's odd, I'm not, man. I'm not, uh, I'm not saying he doesn't sound great. I think no, he, he sounds always okay. sounds great. It's just to <laughs> the level. <laughs> I, I'm, so I'm more focused on those scarves in the background because I believe those are new. Oh, well, one of them is new. The other have been there for a while, and they all have to do with Las Vegas. But I've said okay. too much. Because I because I just noticed them and started trying to rack my brain if there was a religious holiday. No, it's not a religious holiday. Nor am I trying to be like Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. It has something to do with Las Vegas. So I'm glad you noticed it, though. The clues are everywhere. Well, I think I'm going to uh, and be diminished by you when you come on that stage. But I'm still very happy so tropical, far. Tropical, right? For my uh, perhaps. Uh, are you changing? Choice. Are no? you changing? No. It's going to be fun. Mexican coffee is known for its brightness and subtle flavors. I'm not sure. So am I. I am not sure if it's Mexican coffee or not. Um, Do you think it was resort resort coffee? coffee? As soon as I got the very first thing when I got to this resort after flying all day was to have uh, a Diet Coke. And the can looked the same. And until I looked down, and I was doing, I did that. Right on the show with you guys when you saw me take it out of the mini bar yeah. and it said Coca Cola Light. Yes. Which is a different product. And it was dramatically different in that. How, the, can, you, how can it be different so much? I mean, it's because it's, the artificial uh, element to create the uh, image of Coca Cola was lacking. Whereas the one that uh, we have here in the States was uh, duplicates the flavor uh much closer so that's that's i always felt that diet coke feels sort of abrasive like uh, you hate you hate diet soda but i'm saying to you that that the flavor profile was and i think when it comes to soft drinks and if you drink soft drinks which you shouldn't drink whether diet or not Mm -hmm. um you're we're very particular because we 
usually consume so many of them, and then it was off. And then after that, everything to me, that whole uh, long weekend was just not quite there in the uh, flavor profile. Uh, and it's, you know, it's it, probably because we as Americans are used to being poisoned. Yeah, maybe the flavor profiles are created by chemical ingredients that uh, we have grown accustomed right. to. I have that never been. To, I've never been to Coca Cola in Atlanta, but I know a lot of people who have been and done the factory and the whole tour and stuff. I have. And okay, is it true that the standard brands, even like Coca Cola itself, is flavored differently by international region because it's yes. what they like there? Yeah. So what you've For got instance, there is something catering to the Mexican palate, Mike. Oh, yeah, and there's plenty of foreign sodas that taste really bad. Yeah, Fanta, uh, Mike, is to, a Nazi soda. Did you know that? I had a Fanta orange down in Mexico, and it was Nazi fine. Nazi soda. It was, it was fine for me. Now, why do you say no. uh, Nazi? Because uh, when Coca-Cola had to divest their interest in uh, Germany because of the war coming up in the 1930s, Fanta was left in Europe and really inadequately supplied without its american counterpart so fanta began making soda out of stuff i believe like crushed apples and it was really nasty but it was serving the nazi public so i guess if you know you're you under the, know that history if you're yeah. under the, the tutelage of some great nazi headmaster yeah. i guess Wikip crushed apple soda tastes okay but yeah. wow. wikipedia said fanta originated in germany as an alternative because of the trade embargo with nazi germany see nazi soda oh my god uh fun so I don't know. It's just uh, the the palate. Good to get back here. Uh, nice to be back in the uh, the uh, you know the and states. And I believe, Mike, I think European Fanta has more natural flavors than American Fanta, even to a point where the color is different. Well, I don't even know if I was drinking European Fanta or Mexican Fanta because I was certainly drinking <laughs> the, Mexican Diet Coke. It's the most hateful soda. Fanta. And Fanta. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much all foods. <laughs> overseas versus here is we use a lot more chemicals to replace flavors. Well, no, I, let me just flavors. say this. Let me say this about that. I think that that there are countries that you travel to, yes, uh, where the local cuisine is in many cases far superior to the United States. Yes. I'm just saying if you are at a place like I am, which is essentially rube land, where you know all people really care about is getting the food. Carla was, was commenting on this. Like, as we, we're in this little all-inclusive, beautiful place. Yeah. Their company sent us. Beautiful. But make no mistake, you all know these places. These yeah. are places that are all-inclusives, and all their job is to do is to recreate the food that people, you know. These aren't experimental people I that go to these places. These are people that... Uh, really just want to drink as much as they can eat as much as they can uh have have everything convenient in the in the location would you draw these are not parallel? people that want to get into the culture Doesn't would you parallel like the uh the service at the hotel costa plenty would you say it's sort of like getting cuisine on a cruise ship yes that, that yeah 100 percent. Um, the quality is is absolutely adequate but the right quantity, adequate. The adequate quantity is where it's at and then uh so so the, it's not you know, but I know people that have traveled all over the world and enjoyed uh, cuisine that's uh, spectacular. And so mm -hmm. that's, uh, you know, that's why I'm just talking about my own personal you, experience. You just missed your aspartame. Uh, perhaps that's what it was. Because that, that is not in light coke. Light coke uses a combination of sweeteners instead. Ah, He's look at that. He's done his research. He's done his research. Nobody gets us the info during the show when Rob and I are too stupid to think of it. What is that it? Josh Soroka, ladies and gentlemen. Coca-Cola light, does it is it sweetened with xylitol? X I -xylitol? It is sweetened with white sugar and some other sweeteners, but not aspartame. Okay. Coke light has sugar? White sugar. I don't. Mike, well, then I don't maybe know. Rob would like it. Uh, maybe, maybe it's right up my alley. Um, I look. I, I, I have to tell you though, of all the experiences, I didn't get to this yesterday. Mm -hmm. This to me is the worst breach of etiquette. Oh, the worst. The worst. Okay. And I don't think, and this can happen at a resort. This can happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. It involves an elevator, and I think you'll probably know where I'm going with this. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably in the middle of our stay. Yeah. We're walking the seven miles down to the one elevator bank. We've seen this uh, elevator. We traveled on this elevator. On traveled the on this show. elevator. So you know the elevator I'm talking about. 
And as we get to the elevator, a lady comes out and then followed by a man who uh, hustles out, like like in a way that was just noticeable. He's and in a hurry? we get on. It's just the two of us. We get on the elevator. The doors close. And he has left behind oh, no. a death fart. And I said, I, I don't think, because nobody understands and minds for humor uh, flatulence than I do. But then when it comes to certain types where you unload in, say, a supermarket, Yep. Or you unload in a department store, or you are in a theater where you are clo in close proximity. May I ring but, in? Yes, please do. What if you were to do that in the first class compartment of an airplane? Uh, regularly, <laughs> like every time you. Fly. Geronimo did it. I'm gonna I'm gonna out him on it. <laughs> well, there's no secret. <laughs> All the Jesus. time, right away. <laughs> and loved it. Yep. Did it on purpose. But in in his defense, he did it to be. You know the the contrarian, the 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 prankster that he was. Yeah, well, he did it work, for that. You purpose. didn't work behind him for twelve years. I understand. <laughs> I will tell you that this one was so horrible, and it so lingered that uh, you know, to me, I wanted to just grab the guy. I wanted to go back down to the floor, sir. You can't do that because you don't know it might have come out of her. As far as the uh, <laughs> did it smell <laughs> sick? No. <laughs> Okay, good. At no, what exactly. it smelled was uh, it was just lingered, and it was heavy. It smelled what it smelled. It was so heavy, it smelled solid. Wow, it was like the fog in a Vixen video. It's horrible, it, uh, hung heavy at the bottom. I mean, of your you screen. get on there, and you know you're done. You're leaving, and right. if there happens to be, and obviously the way he did it, it was right before he got off. I don't, look. There were there only. Well, he three, doesn't want to be stay with it. There are four floors at this place, so yeah. maybe it was even longer than that. I don't know, but I I Did hate it. Did he appear to have a, a a room on the upper floor because the air pressure? You changes. mean like he was uh, in the, in the well-to-do, the glitterati? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I, I was saying that as you get higher, the air gets thinner, and as he came down to the lobby, nasty. perhaps there was such a compression. Absolutely that, nasty. But you yeah. heard nothing. No, it was uh, he did it before we got on. He was off. He was he was halfway down the hallway, and we were halfway between two floors. When it was, was like, was he said, heavy? Oh my god! Nope, no. Yeah, and and no comment by him. Nothing. He was gone. He was he escaped. He escaped, and it was, was gone. He and I just perhaps in hotel management. If you are in a place where you are just absolutely, it is essential that you release. I, uh, I understand it. If you're in a situation where yes. you know someone is going to hop on a ridiculously enclosed space. By the way, uh, I know in some warm climates, elevators have air conditioning, not at uh, cost of plan. I don't think it's common for an air conditioner to, to be in an, an, an well, elevator I don't know. because it opens. Does it open into a larger elevator? I don't know. It just, to <laughs> me, was uh, was difficult, and it leads into the lat. And I want I will wrap up my commentary of where I was. It just we got so we were so busy yesterday. I didn't get a chance to I go over everything. But as I uh, was probably the last day I was there, I was sitting out on. Uh, on the little balcony that I had, and a beautiful view. Absolutely. You cannot, when you're talking about Cabo, you cannot undervalue the scenic beauty of Cabo. Mountains going down to the Pacific. There's just nothing that compares to it. It, it is absolutely and the guests, scenically Mike, right? <laughs> spectacularly beautiful. Yes. But after spending the first day, <laughs> uh, the first day would be... When did I wrap up the show? I think I wrapped up the show Friday, uh, and I am in. I go down. My my day consisted of having the bulk of the afternoon was going to be spent in the resort pool. Now, if you've been to uh, you know Polly Christine's pool, which is the uh, the way I describe these resort pools, they are usually include a pool bar. Where you can swim up to a the pool. A swim bar. up bar, one of the greatest. Big, things. big deal. Yes. Big I love deal. It. Multiple pools with a view of the Pacific. You can't do better. It and was that are nice. Are any of these pools above ground or are they all dug out of the ground? 
You mean what, like a plastic above ground pool? No. Well, they, that's they I mean technically that's in. Mike. Technically, Christine has, although he has I a lovely. I understand. I'm talking it. about that he likes to go sure. to sandals and beaches and these places. And the last time uh, I got horribly ill in one was right after I'd spent the better part of a week in one of these pools, realizing that the money I shelled out for one of these places probably not going to be shelled out again. And I this was the first time I've been in a place like this, but thank God for the company. Uh, we were on the company's dime. You say multiple nice. pools, were they connected? Was there like a waterfall feature or anything? Not exactly, but they were lovely, and they were multifold, and they were uh, all over. But the one that was right under our balcony uh, – had a direct view of the pool bar. And as I said, I spent a good chunk of time uh, in the pool bar and a lot of people from the company chatting with a lot of people, met some very nice people uh, from Ohio. And some guy yelled across at the Ohio guy, uh, you know, and it was something political. And the uh, the Yay. guy from Ohio said something along the lines of, "My politics. Let's just say," he goes like this. Oh no! I remember. It. Let's just say, I'm an American. Oh no! <laughs> and With I'm the like, wink. Okay. Yeah. That's horrible. Mad. Uh, like like you know I like he's I was, got the corner on it. Duh. I was, I was hated at the from a bar in my honeymoon because every day it was a drink out of a hollowed out pineapple. Really? <laughs> yes, and it was a lot Fancy. of work. Yeah, yeah. They had another drink for two that came in a watermelon. We got that once, too. So I, was I, drinking then. I occasionally will slide into germophobia, um, not in a Howard Hughes way, but in such a way that I really, after that experience. What are these bottles? <laughs> after that experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I, as I said, I spent one day, most of the day, just hanging out, chatting yeah. with people. And it's a really nice environment to socialize. It's just you get to meet a lot of different people, and everybody's loose, and everybody's oh, uh, enjoying the time. <laughs> no, not loose like that. Okay. Um, and then I, the last day before we were packing up to leave, yeah. I see a dude that's in the, uh, the hotel pool Bright and early in the morning. First sure. one in with his wife. And this guy is, if he's not three bills, 50 pounds, I, I'd i be very surprised. Yeah. And well, you know I why thought, he's there, Mike? They have him get him in in the morning before they fill the pool. It takes less time that way. <laughs> I thought in terms of <laughs> if he's going to be there all day. Yeah. And all the people are there. I just find it that whole experience of multiple people uh, was drinking he in the pool, in the pool or was he at the swim up bar in the pool? Okay. Now and, did and you he spend came. Any he, time? At one point, there was nobody working yet at the swim up bar. Of course not. But he ma but he's moved his way over there. And by the way, fun little trick at the swim up bar. Yes. As you got to the swim up bar, there is an incline, a tile incline underwater. Mm -hmm which resulted in almost everyone, myself included, yes. face planting when you went up there because you're 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 thinking it's level and right. you step forward and it slides down and you can't and you're gone. <laughs> catch yourself and is but there here like it is. A, I'm trying to remember are they do they have stools? Yep, they had they had the tile built in underwater yeah, stools. That's what you want to shoot for right there, but you and, know that guy Here's the thing about the big guy, Mike. If he was there first thing in the morning, he was definitely relying on the on the pool being his first source of hygiene for the day. Oh, God. Well, that gets you know? to the point. I wrote down soaking okay. all day. Yeah. Drinking. Yes. Overcrowded. Mm-hmm. Food and drink nearby. Brought and, and then I wrote a gross-a-thon. Yeah. And it just uh, because was it that different looking down on the pool anyway, from your the overcrowding. Line? I'm not going to give him a false uh, slam because it was not overcrowded. The, right. the pool itself uh, was not overcrowded. Around the pool bar, yeah, kind of uh, you know a single line of people all around. Every bar stool taken okay. at the pool bar, uh, but not uh, not like it was when we went uh, with our son who got sick and Carla got sick and I got sick. I PNC, think the nature right? of the, I think the nature of the beast is that that lends itself to 
I, didn't we have an article a short time ago that all the chlorine in the world can't kill certain griblies? Isn't that true? That uh, you know, well, you I'm can't, sure some chlorine is not a magic others. bullet when it comes to uh, you know, and it also bacteria. depends on the concentration of it. I mean, some well, people and, and lightly those, chlorinate their pool, but those resort pools they always heavily chlorine. Yeah, <laughs> I've got Who a fly is, in here. Sorry, they're, they're the ones where you can smell the chlorine walking past it. Yeah, <laughs> you come just, out with beautiful blonde hair. <laughs> I. I just believe that in this particular circumstance, I was just sitting there watching this guy float around and knowing that... I bet uh, he was very buoyant. I think such horrible thoughts. I think of all the the, the gribblies that come off anybody. And it, by the way, this is not just fat. I'm not going to fat shame people. I've been a fat guy my whole life. I will say that Remember, this Remember, it was a skinny anybody. guy who farted. It was a skinny guy who farted. It was farted. a skinny guy. But it's just, I don't think that as far as... My idea of recreating is uh, is ever again going to be either uh, coagulating with my fellow human beings on a cruise ship or coagulating with my uh, favorite human beings on uh, one of those all-inclusive resort places. I have a you know? question for you. You spent yes. some time at the hotel bar, at the swim-up bar, right? You know what my idea of the perfect vacation is? Am the I big included? Dirk, the big Dirk energy pool and the answer is yes you are included thank you because that is but you will say that in your travels yeah haven't your best experiences been when you are going somewhere to uh to see something special as opposed to just go to a place where they have a hole in the ground that has water in it i don't know i think that if you go on a proper cruise ship that is handled uh where you have of course i was on a very very special list when i last sailed and so we had private areas um yeah. because it was a gift of the listeners right. that was fantastic but i can see um i think it must be different to be at the swim up bar and being a part of the fun because that is part of the fun yeah. as opposed to getting out on your lanai and looking at the people at the swim up bar not any but not the people a couple okay one dude at and it looked couple. like he was in for the day yeah. And he was in for the and when you get the food that's close by, it just I, I think of like the More community cheese, hot sir. tub. Don't you hear on these cruise ships occasionally all they the get time. legionnaires disease yes. when they all go in a hot it tub invented together? Invented at a convention. It that's got chlorine because, in it. That's sure. all the chlorine in the world uh, can't do this. And then uh, that's why you get quarantined when you get a rotavirus because it spreads like wildfire. Mm. All those things uh, get to me. However, if you travel to say a foreign country that's no say wine country where you're going out I to I don't want to uh, go to wine country <laughs> wonderful amusement wonderful amusement park if you go out there you're, <laughs> you're fine so it just it's interesting when you choose especially if with inflation nowadays if it's a special thing our group of people coming out to Las Vegas right. for our trip in November are coming out there to see multiple uh locations we're not going to be the only game in town it's people are going to go to other city. shows they're going to go into different casinos they're going to come into our casino there are multiple places to go and it's not just where you're you're captured at one spot and i have to say with what i'm saying where we were was beautiful absolutely beautiful i just remembered the place that was equally nice but yeah. it's just the way it's laid out i i yeah. guess it, it makes me germaphobic it makes me very germaphobic. Which is why you're going to have to keep the kissing to a minimum when we head out to Las Vegas. By the way. I love to hug. I just don't necessarily I do like too. to, I love uh, to hug know, you. French kiss. Um, I'm curious. Does anyone know how many days until Las Vegas? Um, I'm going to say you probably had an easier time sourcing your sounds for this countdown clip. I did. Because I did. it's 18, correct? And sometimes, Mike, sometimes bits of pop culture stick their head in. <laughs> We're only 18 days away. 18 days. But Arnold Palmer was all man. He took showers with the other pros. They came out of there. They said, oh, my God. My big 10 inch. Hey, y'all, 18 days. 18 days. 18 days. Only got 18 more. Hi there. It's oh. later than you think. It's yeah, sneaking that one in. The Mike O'Mara Show in fabulous <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada. 
That's the one I hate. Hi there. You don't like big slot I hate that sound. That, I don't right. know why I do. I what hate that sound. What if I switch to Wheel of Fortune? Uh, if you switch to anything, it'll be better. Than, that what is that? That that doesn't even sound like a modern slot machine. At I all. love it because I think it sounds like Double Diamond, and that's what I like. Ding, ding, ding. I'm trying I to think. You know, I didn't know Arnold Palmer was known for eighteen. Yeah, he um, was. I didn't know Trump was talking eighteen. He was. But, he well, was. since you brought it up, uh, I wrote down cr uh, Trump's creepiest saying. And he said the same thing at the rally where he was talking about Arnold Palmer. I love women. Oh, God. I love, I I, I love women. <laughs> it's just so gross what he said. You would think that, but, but it's Donald Trump. Plays Mr. By his President, own rules. Mr. I, President, do yes. you follow the WNBA? <laughs> yes, I love, yes, I love women. You know what else I don't care what you say, Mr. Ex-President? Is when you're in the middle of really a pile of, of S pudding because you're talking about Arnold Palmer's dick and you say, <laughs> I got to say it. I got to say it. Had to I say it. I love women. <laughs> do, you, do you love yes. Latrobe? I love Latrobe's <laughs> women. Yeah, I love women in the tube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just so weird. It's a weird world. God, what a weird world we live but in. But what right we're now. saying is, come out and see us on November 9th. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're we're excited. I'm getting, uh, I, you know, I just got back uh, from one place and I'm uh, getting ramped up to go out to another. I called uh, or I dealt with text for uh, to see if I could. Uh, switch around my uh, arrangements because I have come to the conclusion that I would rather uh, connect on a flight than drive to Miami. Okay. And I've only recently, and I never purchased the uh, the change insurance where you can change. So yes. it ain't happening. Ain't gonna happen. I'll be how driving to Miami. How effective did you feel? How effective did you feel it was to communicate with an airline via text? Um. The coldness, uh, and it wasn't a, it wasn't an airline. It was a uh, a travel service. Oh, it was one was of those travel. It wasn't services. Peggy Luggage, was it? It was not Peggy Luggage, but at the end, extremely cold, extremely yeah. cold at the end. You know, like we cannot help you, and then just goodbye. And I. What and would my have been better if you had said, Mike? If you had said, "I'd like to change my flight arrangements," and if they replied, "LOL." <laughs> no, my last, seriously, and this yeah. is after a very long exchange that took probably upwards of 25 minutes. Yeah. And my last words were, thanks for nothing. There you go. But you see, that also, that's an advantage of text, because you wouldn't say that on the phone. Well, I'd probably be worse on the phone. You know, I know. I would probably. Yeah. Speaking of that, a little later on the show today, we're going to try something called, what did I write down here? Let's call the wrong call center. Oh, I love uh, that's uh, that's just a little game we're going to play a little bit later on on the show today because uh, you've asked for it, we'll deliver. That's what we do. That's the way we roll. On Mike, the Mike we O'Mara asked show. what you wanted to hear, and we. It's listened. the station everyone can agree on, even the boss. Um, I mentioned yesterday how frustrating it is to be a New York Giants fan, and I mm. also mentioned that now uh, watching the all the different bloggers. Uh, about the Giants, there are, there are podcasts and vlogs, yes. and uh, they are multifold. Some of them at the highest possible level associated with television. Some of them associated with radio stations. Some of them a guy in his mother's basement that's just him. going. But by watching these dudes mm -hmm. bitch and complain about my beloved New York Giants, I uh, I get total satisfaction, and I I just I get my fix of this. And you're not going to, here's what you're not going to get. You're not going to get any solutions. You're not going to get any real solutions. What you're going to get is simple whining and bitching with words like bench him, <laughs> unacceptable, we have the death of the franchise, free fall. That's oh, involved no. in that. Free fall is a big one when you see yeah. that. Uh, and well, that's also easily copied. You Josh, know, that's a good you have do you, moved, you do you one of these I podcasts, I do. and how angry do you get on your podcast? Because I have to say, well, the type of podcast Josh does mm -hmm. with the Orioles is what I gravitate to with the Giants. 
I like the content. So yeah. what do you do when you're on yours? You know, this year the Orioles were a lot better the past couple of years, but I went through doing this podcast with a lot of really bad years. Mm -hmm. And we went to the point where it got to the point of, as a fan base, pushing for new ownership. Are you there yet? Yes. As Jets fans? 100%. You just, you just want the team Giants sold. Fans. So ours, the, got, ours yeah. got sold this past year. Mm -hmm. Huge relief. Yeah. Uh, and it makes everything Is it more new. fun when you do your podcast for a, a team that's losing? Because it seems like uh, it's it's going to get to the more um, the core of the fanship if no. you can do that. No, because, no, because, because he's yeah, at heart. It doesn't matter. The, this was born out of being a, a pure fan. And, that's all what right. it was born out of. And, right. and remember, no matter how good the Orioles were this year, we we complain. Yeah. We complain yeah. because yeah. they don't win every game. Um, but you're right. I went on I went on a rant complaining about how our catcher is fat and and he's <laughs> he he sucks this year because he was fat and he's clearly gained 30 to 40 pounds in the offseason. Right. And when I found a I found another vlogger on TikTok that threw the same complaining about the same thing, it took all my worries away that I wasn't crazy. Um, so good, I know how yeah. you feel about when you watch this. Yeah. I'm going to give a guy a plug here, uh, Josh, and write the name down so maybe we can book him on the show just to get it out of my system. The guy's name is Marshall Green. He is a, a video guy uh, that has a Giants podcast, and he does it live, I think, on game day where he just comments on the game that's going on. And he gets so distraught and so salty about yes. uh, the giant that it gets my it, it just releases all of my frustrations. I'll yell at the tube when I'm watching, but then after the fact, I I come down so much quicker by watching him because he does it all for me and I can relax a little bit. Uh, it's because like you need a therapist, to when you Mike. Yeah, it is seeing it when you're when you're so frustrated with your losing team that you you just want to vent and somebody does it for you. I think he's providing a vital public service including when a guy didn't make a on the defense guy Deontay Banks yeah. uh defensive back for the New York Giants didn't uh you know minimal effort at the end didn't finish plays kind of quit and he is just all over him like flies on poo and I found it absolutely gratifying okay. because that hatred uh, even though it's short-lived and by the way so n n yes go ahead well I've got a sample of this guy Okay. Oh, good. All right. All right. This is great. Let's uh, today let's set the NFL record for the most consecutive home games without a TD pass since 1970. <laughs> Giants averaged 1.5 <laughs> offensive touchdowns per game last season. The Giants are averaging 1.3 <laughs> offensive TDs per game this <laughs> season. This Giants <laughs> gained 119 net yards and averaged 2.2 <laughs> yards per play <laughs> against great. the Eagles. The 119 yards 100. and 2.2 yards per play are both the fewest in a home game for the Giants in franchise history. There it is. I Great scored clip. 31 total points in four home games this season. All teams who played four games at home through the first seven games of the season, that's the fewest since the 1997 Colts. You're not just bad. You're not just all-time Giants bad or all-time NFL bad with Daniel Jones under center. There it is, baby. Oh, beautiful he's, clip, Josh. He beautiful is beautifully well-spoken, but Mike, I must say, please, let us not have him on our show. Why? Because Why? I think he's going to yell and be just that. We no, I want to compliment the young man. I don't That's, know what kind of following he has, but it's nice to get a guy on that 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 he puts his heart on his sleeve. He's a fan. I love that. As opposed to the controlled over -anal analysis no, that we get with perfect. those guys. That's yeah, what right. Want. Is that's, that kind of what you do, Josh? Is that your thing yeah, that you do? Yeah. A little? It's yeah, great. I don't do the shorts. I keep talking about how I need to do shorts like that guy. Oh, but that yes, short got it all. Complain. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. So it's uh, it's very satisfying, and uh, I enjoy every single bit. I of like it, the so. fact that it does bring you uh, inner peace. It, it does. It makes, look at how happy it yeah. just made me. Then I love very those statistics. So. Yeah, you know? In, not just Giants bad, all time mm. NFL bad. That's this pretty is, uh, bad. What we have. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Uh, Real quick before we uh, go to break here, uh, back to the uh, managerial spot tonight. I will be uh, taking the Navy team and uh, seeing if we can go to 3-0 and because we are not all-time bad. We are all-time good. All and right. we are uh, very, very successful. And now it's uh, back to the end. God knows what can happen tonight. It's always an adventure. But were, uh, were my guys are hoping. 
were you kind of hoping they'd lose while you were out of town? No, because I hadn't so been at it kind of long enough, you. and I okay. no, I because because my kid was at the game, so it didn't. Matter. Right. I, I was so there were that uh, was not playing into it. If he hadn't been at the game, you know, perhaps I would have. been But how many questions did you send to Michael about what the guy do? Uh, <laughs> I asked him did, yesterday. I asked him yesterday, Josh, in the car. Uh, if so and so or so and so, and he said it was kind of a uh, manager by committee, which uh, which works for me. The hardest thing I have with managing these little creatures yeah. is substituting and getting people back in. But I think the casual nature of the fall league allows me. So the only real rule is if a kid comes in and pitches, he can't go back in and pitch again. Right. But you can put him back in another position, and he can mix and match. And what if you the, put a fake? Hold on, let me just on. let me just let me just finish this. All right. The the lineup I have, Josh. I don't know if you do it with your league. The lineup is every kid that's at the game. Yes. Bats. So yes. the lineup is not one through nine. It's one no, through it's 12. twelve or whatever, and they they all bat every inning. That's how that works. Do you do right. the same thing? Correct. Yep. That's that takes a lot of the heat off, that they all get a chance to bat. Yeah, Rob, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, what in that case, do you still have like a key hitter at number four for cleanup? Or... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. But then do you also have a key hitter at number eight and number 12? Uh, no, we no. do okay. not. We, we okay. don't do it that way. I don't know sense Perhaps Normally, Josh, who's managed longer than I have, has a strategy. I don't really. No, I have a key hitter at one, three, and four. Okay. Those are my better hitters. One, three, and four. That's and how, drink that's Dr. How I Pepper at 10, 2, and 4. And, and then uh, everything is fine. Josh, you'll be happy to know that uh, I did not take your advice about the bat yesterday. And, uh, yes, I did pop for the expensive the bat hype. that was uh, at D-Bat was on sale uh, and uh, hype still fire expensive. Hype or Hype Arctic? Hype Fire. Hype Fire. Yeah. The, the orange one. I, I'm I, curious. It's what, as someone it's what who has every it. 10, 11-year-old wants. It's, I, it I knew it was one of those bats. Yeah. As He's a child contact, who is out so of not, sports, Mike. Good yes. news is it's a new version that's legal. Yeah, it is for, 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 for USA and not USAA. That's yeah. It. yeah. Um, you know, I had to buy – Robert didn't play baseball, but I had to buy volleyballs. I had to buy, you know, an occasional basketball and shoes. How much does a bat cost, like a high-line bat? One million dollars. That seems high. That's One million dollars. Oh, I think got ripped off. <laughs> yeah, I got ripped off. I uh, yeah. paid a little more than I wanted to. We're going to take a break uh, when we come back. Got a very interesting roundtable today. A great mm. final story that I think you're going to want to hang in there for. A and hard later on, uh, we're going to uh, prank call, prank call, prank call. <laughs> and see how that goes. And we uh, have a promo here, Mike. <laughs> oh, we have a promo. Thank you for reminding me. Otherwise, yeah. I keep talking and go right into the spot. Here it is, mm. everybody. Here it is. Here it is. It's almost time. Are you ready? TMOS Nation is taking over the downtown Grand in Las Vegas the weekend of November 8th and 9th, and we want you to be there. If you haven't purchased your tickets for the Grand Reunion weekend, what are you waiting for? There's plenty to do. And that doesn't count. The Blackjack Tournament on Friday night and the live show from the Citrus Pool Deck on Saturday night. You'll be able to take part in all that Sin City has to offer, like gambling, hanging out with your friends at the Freedom Beat Bar, what? Karaoke, nude zip lining down Fremont Street, woohoo! Debauchery, yes. Grabassery, mmm, so good. And most importantly, being with all of your friends who love and support the Mike O'Mara Show. Yay! Don't wait. <laughs> Get your tickets today at mikeomarashow.com slash store. It'll be a weekend you'll never forget. The Mike O'Mara Show in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Mike Grabassery. We are not going to know the configuration for that show uh, until we get to the pool deck. I love the concept of doing it, if possible, in the round. Probably oh, not fun. possible, right. but uh, well, not, you've I, worked on I, I logistics. Say, it's probably not in the round because we have a video screen, and that would be hard. Okay, I get it. All right, I'm fine. I'll shut up. I'll and shut Mike, up. I'll leave it to, yeah. Real quick, can I thank the uh, mighty Carson Art players who appeared on that promo for us? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I want to thank yeah. Linda Hurd. Oh, no, no, you're not going to mention them all by name. Uh, in a perfect world, we uh, would all get uh, enough of Drat. the uh, nutrients uh, we need for a high-level performance from our diets alone. But in the real world, everyone could use some help in uh, continuing to find a new personal best day after day. I started with the Momentous 3, protein, creatine, and omega-3. These are the three nutrients expert research shows as the foundation. Momentous. There it is. Right there. And there it is right there. Whey protein. Yes. 
all the way protein. There's the creatine. Yes. Hey, Josh, uh, three nutrients. Uh, so the foundation show? of long-term health. Uh, the momentous three is the easiest way to drive the biggest impact on health span. Even better, that's longevity, same thing, right? Yes. Even better, all of the ingredients are sourced for quality, not for cheapness. They're driven by what they call the momentous standard, and it's mm -hmm. become synonymous with the industry's gold standard in quality and efficacy. Let me see if I can find, oh, here it is. This is what I took uh, when I arrived uh, after the jet lag trip, about 13 hours of travel total from the time we right. uh, left the hotel until we got home, and this is a little sleep pouch that they have here. And uh, let me zoom in on that so you can take a... A close magnificent, look at that. magnificent, magnificent, what? What's that, Rob? Sleepy, magnificently Sleepy Rob, what? Mike, uh, I'm not sleepy. I just yes, had a misstep are. there. Sleep uh, pouch. It, That's the sleep pouch that I took. And uh, on this, it says sleep and cognitive support, which is really, really special. Uh, and I, I'll tell you something. It made me feel fantastic. So I effective. love this stuff. Standard. Uh, they, look, the momentous standard has become synonymous with the industry's gold standard in quality and efficacy. So if you're interested in making a true investment in your health, why not join the best in human performance and be part of the change that's raising the bar on supplements? Just go to livemomentous.com and use code TMOS for 20% off your new routine today. That's livemomentous.com with code TMOS. And before we get to the news here, oh, yeah. uh, Rob, go ahead. Let's uh, let, Give me the art players that you wanted to mention uh, just before. Wanted just want to say thank you. It's always nice when they get involved. Linda Hurd, Dan Ware, Shelly Whaley, Scott Spindler, Kevin Scott, the Sternbergs, Adam and Rebecca, and Joyce Woodard, and of course, produced by Jim Amato. Thank you, folks. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. We, uh, we truly appreciate list it. list of everyone you can come see in Vegas. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. That's right. They're all going to be there. They're playing at the uh, Bally's, I think. All right. Now I'm ready for the thing. Go ahead. Okay, lay it on me. Let's do the thing. Time for the round table, ladies and gentlemen. We start today uh, in the news almost every other day now. It seems. We start with Diddy. Even more people have come forward to sue Diddy for uh, sexual assault, both male and female. One of his new accusers says she was 13 years uh. old. Uh when she uh, was assaulted at an after party following the 2000 MTV Video Music Awards. You know, we had this... Uh, celebrities have been involved in this kind of stuff for many, many moons. Sure. And you just say, yeah, the guy himself and the after parties and the debauchery and the nastiness and all that. But at the same time, where are the parents? Where a 13-year-old would somehow be involved... With a party like this, how does that even? I don't happen? even blame the parents, Mike, as much as I blame the society. That was in the year two thousand. Yeah, that, yeah. And that's, that's what twenty-four years that it's been covered up, and you know there were a lot of people there, yeah. and you know it's just that culture. It's no different than the celebrity culture of the seventies that let people drug themselves to death. Yeah, but but Rob, how does a thirteen-year-old go to an after party at the MTV Video Music Awards? I mean, I can't comment to that. But why are you having sexual assault? against a 13-year-old and no one hearing about it. She says she drank pissed. something that made her woozy, so she went into a bedroom to lie down. Okay, that's not good. Parents. Yeah, 13. You're right. You're right. Uh, soon, Diddy came in with two celebrities. See, this is where they're talking about the other shoe dropping on this mm -hmm. when some of these names get released. A man But, but they're really and dragging woman. it out with the they other are, celebrities. They are incredibly which dragging it out. Which tells me it's not a big name. Uh well, they've not been publicly identified. She claimed she was raped by the male celebrity while the female watched, then by Diddy while the other two watched. Jesus Christ. Hmm. She was eventually able to escape the house and flee to a gas station where they received help. There are also three accusers who say they were assaulted as recently as 2022, and another who claims it happened on Memorial Day weekend of 2014. Are they you know, indicating I, I, at all that the celebrities were a couple, or are they just random celebrities? Is sounds like maybe detail? a couple. Maybe That's a couple. Mm -hmm. um, but when you see this, you do say to yourself with the way this happens and the amount of people coming forward, yeah, there's always a pile-on effect, but it's also, to me, lends the credibility to the thing in general. It's why the guy's in jail, because there's just sure. so many people uh, coming forward. It really 
Uh, it's really nastiness, pure nastiness. Mike, on a brighter note, if you guys want to go to the Saturday Night Live YouTube page, they did a cartoon about 20 years ago called Diddy's Kitties. Yeah. And it's a, a fake detective show, kind of like a Scooby-Doo, where they go around trying to figure out what exactly it is that Diddy does for a living. That's the mystery they're solving. Uh, it's worth looking at and also a little prescient because it paints him kind of creepy 20 years ago as he is now. So it's Yeah, kind of- it's, uh, it's the land of weird, everyone. It is. Elvira it is. recently told a story. We had it on this show about yeah. how uh, Ariana Grande was uh, snotty to her. Well, to her credit, and I give celebrities credit for this, Ariana is not denying it. Okay. I dig this. In fact, she apologized. She said, quote, I'm so disheartened to see this. I actually don't even remember getting the chance to meet you because I had an anxiety attack and, to my memory, left before the rest of my family. This was around seven years ago, and at the time, I was really not great with being in public crowds or loud places. But if I'm misremembering this moment, I sincerely apologize for offending you so. She added, quote, thank you for being so nice to my mom. She told me how lovely you were. She might have different feelings about that now, but I'll talk to her. Clearly, we all uh, have our days. Is that a backhanded kind of cover yeah, your ass comment? It is. Of course it is. She might hate you now because you said something my bad about her My mom used to think you were great, but uh, you know, maybe it's not Ariana Grande. Maybe it's her big sister. I don't know. Ariana Vente. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have the latte vente. <laughs> Sending love always. You'll always be our queen of Halloween. You see, that so. is not an apology. There. Not quite. It's and just also, not quite thick enough. Isn't is Ariana Grande <laughs> a singer? She should do better in crowds if she's a singer. You know, well, I know this was seven years ago when she was having anxiety attacks. Well, I was yeah. having anxiety seven years ago, and I didn't refuse any pictures. <laughs> no. Or, or any drink offers either when you got those. By the way, you had a you had an anniversary, did you not? Uh, when I was on break, I saw you yeah, posted. I, did. I gave it a uh, like. What, what was it? Thirty one months, I think. Thirty. Yeah, right? You don't know? Okay. No, All right, I don't. I mean, it's 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 it's. How many days? Half- thirty one months. How many days? Uh, it would be thirty one months and six days. Because are you somebody that counts that? Like you, you obviously know it off the top of your head, right? No, I just so. know that the sixteenth is my anniversary. That's and so good I, enough for me. And I put it up, and I, you know, people are really kind on Facebook to like and stuff, but know that I put that up for me as a reminder. That's it. That's okay. It. I want in a year from now. I want to see that I was doing it back then. Okay. But after all your talk about the the resort, I'm thinking of starting to drink again. <laughs> Hop in the pool. Uh, <laughs> do you know what, uh, either one of you guys know what pink cocaine is? It's She's still singing, isn't she? It's very energetic. Yeah, she uh, does the thing with the scarves up in the air. Yeah. Well, pink cocaine is a mixture of drugs that generally include meth, uh, ketamine, and molly. God almighty. Everyone but, can agree on that mix, Mike. Oh, so it's not... Oh, so it doesn't have cocaine at all, but not necessarily cocaine at well, all. That is, that is fake news then. False uh, advertising. It was one of several drugs found in Liam Payne's system when he died. Mm. Police also found an improvised aluminum pipe in his hotel room. Local cops are reportedly investigating a hotel employee for possibly uh, giving Liam drugs. Liam's autopsy isn't complete yet, and his body is still in uh, Argentina on a related and just as morbid a note. Liam's death has been good for business. Wow. Both solo and with One Direction. Before his death, Liam had 4.7 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Now it's doubled, nearly 8 million. One uh, one used to have One Direction rather used to have forty two point four million monthly listeners. Now they're up to fifty million. Uh, yeah, like I've always said, I just need to overdose. Yeah, we'll pink do. cocaine we'll is portion. a mixture of ketamine, caffeine, MDMA, strawberry flavoring, and pink food coloring. Oh, that's wow. nice. Coloring. Were you Mike? Was that offered to you by Pablo at the resort after yes, he got off his golf cart? Absolutely, because apparently that's where you go, and uh, uh, you, that's in- the capital. That's right. You want to get you want to get the the uh, you know the capital of pink cocaine is Cabo Cabo San Lucas. <laughs> if you want to feel old, yes, talk to my son or another eleven year old or a ten year old. Talk to these ten and eleven year olds for five minutes. Your self esteem will plummet. Has a kid ever called you old for something you didn't know was an old person thing? Well, for me, it could be a regular daily occurrence. Sure. Here are some examples from social media. Number one, a kid told someone they were old because they were born in the 1900s. 
So that's anyone over 24. Yeah, I've uh, been told that. Yep. You were born in the 1900s. What was it like back then? Ah, everything was, it was made nice. of wood. I liked uh, it. A teacher got called old because she told her students she saw the original Shrek in a movie theater. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, someone got called old by a kid because they used to have VHS tapes. And someone else got called old because they knew uh, what a DVD was. Wow. Uh, I get oh, these all make sense. You know, they there's, uh, there's some videos some of the football teams were doing. Yeah, we showed one. Showing, of them. Did yeah. we show one where they yeah. give the the NFL players a VHS tape and they don't know what it is? They didn't Floppy know what it disc was as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a kid called someone old because they still use CDs in their car. Hold on, I'm 65. I think you're old if you use CDs in your car. Yeah, I don't. I think did my until car has I flipped my player. car. Yeah, hey, that's right. A woman got called old because she had stamps in her purse. Well, you still have to use stamps for snail yes, mail if you, want, if you want to ship something or send something out. I keep them at my desk right here, of course. Well, you're old. I am uh, old. A, uh, a kid called a guy old because he said he used to play outside when he was young. Oh, my God. Uh, I reference that regularly. I've heard that. I've definitely heard that. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you go you out. I used the kids to, outside, they don't play outside. Summertime, I would leave the house early in the morning and play outside. All day. I would yep. be called in my neighborhood for supper. She would literally go outside and say, Michael, dinner. And I'm in the neighborhood. What a nice time for parents, though, right? I mean, yeah. really. Were yeah. you were you required to be back home by the time streetlights came on? That was a rule for us. Yeah. Not necessarily. In fact, I was kind of in a suburban area where it was uh, not really Because I was urban, out. So, yeah, yeah, I was out running behind the mosquito truck. And the, ingesting uh, those fumes god that, it was uh, fun were, and then uh, the lights would come on i go home and i was so sleepy a parent left uh someone a voicemail and their kid said only old people do voicemail i, can't I will remember the last time i did a voicemail i really i will remember. occasionally shock someone if they text or email me i'll, I'll phone them and they pick up like something is really wrong oh but yes? sometimes yes what 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 what, what is it it's mike no. the oldest i've felt recently was i was uh doing a session with uh, Wiz Khalifa for a rap themed show. And it was uh, being produced by a younger crowd. And they said, uh, now, Rob, do you know what a mashup is? And I said, yes. That's when you combine two songs to make one song. Right. And they said, yes, because, you know, we have Wiz Khalifa on today. I said, I've seen Wiz Khalifa in concert and they wouldn't believe me. They wouldn't believe me that I'd seen him. Of course, he was, you know, opening for Fallout Boy. But the very fact that they, a, didn't believe me, I, I don't knew think who that's he was. about being old. What's that? I don't think it's because of your age they didn't believe you. Well, I think my age helps when they asked about what a mashup. Nah, was. I think it's the fact that you look like powder. <laughs> I, I think it's the idea of you in a Wiz Khalif uh, concert crowd. You know what I remember about the Wiz Khalif concert? It was loud. It was loud. Thank you. It was very loud. Uh, another parent said they found out uh, they were old when their daughter called them out for still owning an iPod. Uh, that's, yeah, I mean, haven't we gone past those? Well, I would my think. Mom Do you still, still have one? I, ha I use my phone now, but my mom has an iPod she uses at work that I fill with music for probably quarterly. All right. And so, uh, so I had to, but it's like four connectors ago. I had to custom order a wire for it. Here's a fair one. A woman got called out because she still has a Hotmail address. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. A kid called someone old when they said YouTube uh, didn't used to have ads. So if you remember that magical time, you're ancient. Uh, a guy's co-worker told him he was old after he tossed something in a trash can from a few feet away and yelled, Kobe, when it went in. <laughs> and a guy's much younger cousin called him old for using the laughing, crying emoji. Uh, that one stung because he thought emojis made him seem cool and young. That got to hurt. That does have to hurt. It didn't sell everything. Look, we're all going to die. There you go. That's my, that's, right. that's my little indoctrination for that. That concept, old young. There is a new report out that says the average person starts dreading changing the clocks 11 days before it takes effect. This year, daylight saving time ends on November 3rd, which means the misery starts tomorrow. 
Overall, 40% of people admit they feel a sense of dread, and also that dread can linger until about 13 days after the change, which will be November 16th. I think I'll probably be finally over my jet lag in time to uh, you know, up fall back. Uh, the main issue is that it can bring sunlight blues into the equation because it starts becoming dark by the time many people get off of work. Uh, mm -hmm. But changing the clocks also throws people's systems out of whack, and that's mostly sleep-related. 37% of people say they need more sleep in the days and weeks after daylight saving time ends. Those people who say they need an extra hour and 24 minutes in order to feel well-rested after the change. So First of all, that. it's all screwed up. Nobody really is affected by it. Grow up. And also, if they took my advice years ago, Mike, it was fall back and spring back. And that way, every 12 years, you gain a day. An entire day. An entire day. Wouldn't you love to have that? I'd love to have that, and they never implemented that, and I think it is a crime <laughs> that they didn't rule. do that for you. <laughs> Finally today, a judge in northern Greece on Thursday imposed hey. a suspended one-month prison sentence on a man convicted of a disturbing his neighbors. <laughs> you got me with that. I totally lost my train of thought on the Sorry. kicker. Yeah. Hey, he, he Greece. Just, Grease man just enters my cerebral cortex, and I, uh, I can't get it out. Uh, by repeatedly sneaking into their properties uh, in Greece to smell their shoes. Uh, oh. The 28-year-old Greek man told the Thessaloniki court that he was unable to explain his behavior, which he said had caused him great embarrassment. Yes. Whoopa! <laughs> The man was arrested before dawn on October 8th in the small town of Sindos. That's about 15 kilometers, nine miles for those of you that don't go metric, west Thank of you. Thessaloniki. Oh, Thessaloniki. Uh, police had been called after a neighbor found the defendant in his front yard <laughs> sniffing his family's shoes, which had been left outside to air out. Okay, oh, that's yeah. really bad. The uh, court heard that there had been at least three similar incidents in the past six months, despite neighbors having asked the defendant's family to get him to stop. Hey, you better quit it. Right. Uh, let's say the man was ordered to attend therapy sessions. Yes. And if you were not aware of the, uh, the Greek language, uh, Thessaloniki translated means odor boner. There you go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Disgusting. Yeah, he was getting his odor boner. Uh, doesn't that sound lovely? We have to take a break. Ugh. All right, we're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to try to call somebody. I and love it. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to go, but uh, we're throwing something out there just to uh, see if it sticks to the wall. And uh, let's see what happens on the Mike O'Mara show. Hey, do you like protein? Do you like it? Do you love like it. the protein? The protein's good for you. Uh, whoa, I love Orgain. Orgain's 30-gram protein shakes are an excellent source of complete protein with all nine essential amino acids. And its chocolate taste is the best. So it good. gives me energy. It provides muscle support and recovery, helps manage hunger, and promotes healthy weight management. It's really an asset. Uh, you know, protein's the name of the game. Orgain is convenient. It's real nutrition with only mm -hmm. one gram of sugar per serving. No soy ingredients or artificial flavors or sweeteners. 30, 30 grams of protein and it tastes amazing. Orgain 30 gram protein shakes are available at Costco or Orgain.com. If you want to get in on the delicious protein packed nutrition, there go the fireworks. Love them. Uh, do it today, ladies and gentlemen. Head to Orgain.com slash TMOS. Once you're there, look around and get some Orgain in your cart. Then head to checkout. And when you are prompted to, use our code TMOS. 20% off your order. Remember, for 20% off, head to O-R-G-A-I-N.com slash TMOS and make sure you use the promo code TMOS during checkout so they know that we sent you. All right, let's just call the number, Josh. And yeah. uh, uh, Josh has got a couple of numbers uh, standing by, and we're going to see how this goes. And uh, thank we, you for calling Direct TV. Hey, we picked a random company. Hi, Hi, how are you? Primo Ocho. Yeah. This I call is being recorded oh. for quality assurance. And so am I. Yes. I'm recording it for quality assurance, too. Here we go. I want to make Next. sure there's quality, Mike. Mm -hmm. In a few words. What? I need some more details. Okay. Do you want to try again? Billing. I seem to be having trouble. Hello? Let's try this another way. 
Agent. Which of the following best matches with... Oh, this will be good. Sorry. You can say billing, technical support, cancel a service, billing, start a new service, or you can... I would have got it. support. Billing. Oh, I got it. Shh, shh, mouth. Please say or enter the phone number. Five five five. I didn't understand that. Five 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 five. Let's try one. Five 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 five. Are you calling about your TV? Internet. I didn't understand that. Are you? Call- Internet. Let's try once more. Are Internet. you calling about your TV service? No. <laughs> the urgency. Internet. Please hold while we connect you to an agent. There we go. Ah, there we go. Turn it up for me, Josh, please. Dick Robinson. Hey, good morning. Thank you for calling Direct TV. My name is Ren. Can I hear your question last name? My name is Ron Johnson. Hi, Ron. Good morning. I hope you're doing well today. What can I do for you? I'm, um, I'm calling about your offer. I saw your offer. I'm calling about the offer that you're offering. Okay. Uh, could you tell me more about the offer that you got? The um, um, I don't remember whether I think it was an, a month, um, a month, maybe two months, uh, free, the free offer. Yeah, that's what it. A uh, month, oh, okay. month, uh, month free. That's what it says here on the paper I've got here. I got a flyer. Oh, a free offer. Yeah. Oh, is it a promotion for a um, like a movie channel? Uh, no, it just said free offer, and uh, I get a coupon for uh, for chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, are you calling for the Red TV satellite service, right? Oh yes. <laughs> uh, okay. So let me pull up your account here, Ron. Thank you. I could uh, Thank you. check Thank what you. would be the. Uh, Thank I you get very your much. account number or phone number. Is this the offer that has um is this the offer that has the chicken? Um I need to actually get to know more about that offer that you are pertaining to. Okay. All right. So can you tell me more about the offer? Can you read it to me? What is the offer says? It says uh buy a year. <laughs> And get uh, one month free. I'm sorry, buy? I'm buy, sorry. For, buy, <laughs> buy for a year and get one month free and chicken. And get one month free. Yes. Okay. Buy, buy, for, buy one number? year. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I read it wrong. I read it, read it wrong. Hold on just a second. I'm going to... Um, is this Boston Chicken? This is Direct TV Billing Department, Ron. Yes. That's exactly... That's who I tried to call. And one month free... Okay. Oh, I can't read the goddamn... Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, you got it. Billing uh, Direct TV. Yep, that's it. Hello? Okay, what's the... Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Yes. Uh, are you getting a new... What's your name? Or do you have a service? What's your name? Yeah, my name is... Yeah, my name is Ren uh, Ron. Ren Ron. Ren Ron. Red, Red Rob. Ren. No. Ren Ron. No, my name is Ren. Your name Ren. is Red name Rum? Is Ren. Ren. No, 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 no. Ron? Ren. My name's Ron. <laughs> okay. Um, do you already have direct TV service or you don't? Oh, oh, yeah, uh, uh, no. No, I don't. Okay. You don't have any service. Okay. Well, that's why, like that's why, why hold service? on, Ren. 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 Hello? Yeah, I'm here. That's why I um, was calling about the offer, Ren. Yes. So the reason why I am going to connect you over to our I recently, I recently had a heart attack. 
Can you hold on okay, a minute, please? Wrong, I just want to get. I found the offer. I found the offer. Yeah, so to get your offer, Ron, I will be connecting you over to our sales department. All righty. So you don't have any direct TV service. Sounds yet, good okay? to me, Stay Ren. Line, Sounds good to me. Looking over. forward to it. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Stay in the line. There, yeah, what? Hello? <laughs> My heart attacks me. Calling about the offer. What a beautiful, peaceful music. I picture myself walking through a field of daisies. Yes. Seems to have parked me on hold. I'm not happy with that. I had to mute my, uh, Rob during that. Yes. So Rob, you're muted in StreamYard. Oh, very good. All right, so that means uh, that means the uh, the call center won't hear Rob's giggling. Correct. Correct. Yes. Oh, very good. All right. Now I now I can't hear Rob either. All right. I'm just trying. <laughs> Rob sending me these things says I am down to seven times. I've I've violated the first rule of prank calling these things. You don't let them do this to you. You know. Right. Yes. Hey, let's I, turn Rob back on. I, I, back on. You know, Ren I'm, is really doing his best. Your estimated wait time is about 30. Thanks for calling Direct CB. There's Angel. Can you have your first and last name, please? Peter Piper. Uh, good day, Mr. Peter. Welcome to Direct TV. Thank you. How many is today? What? Mm-hmm. Yes. How many is today? Yes. I'm calling about the offer. Uh huh. So check here. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Peter. It's Pierre. It's about Pierre. The offer it's Pierre. Uh, yeah. P- not Peter. Pierre. Okay. Pierre. Pierre Piper. Okay. Okay, Mr. Pierre. Welcome to Direct TV. So, how many sisters? Pleasure to be with you. I, I, I received I received mm-hmm. an offer through the mail. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. The offer through the mail was uh, for uh, a, a free one free grocery store shopping spree. Mm-hmm. Is that and, from Direct TV? Yes. Okay. So do you have a direct TV service? Is that correct? I, uh, I, I, I have a service station, uh, probably three, three clicks from my home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you want to set up a service here at direct TV right now? Yes. Is that correct? With the offer, with the groceries. Do you still offer the, <laughs> you still offer the groceries? Mm, Hello? I, that one, I will just transfer your call to Robert. No, yeah. no, no, no. Before you After transfer, that, before uh, you transfer me, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. How many mm-hmm. Pierre Pipers did Pierre Piper pick? I'm sorry. I think I'm going to have another heart attack. I have seven toes. Mm-hmm. How many? Do you have all your toes? Yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Yeah. What's your favorite meal? What's your favorite meal? What do you enjoy eating? Breakfast. Breakfast. I, and what do you what do you enjoy for breakfast? Before I get off the line. Uh, I love pancakes. Oh, I do too. Oh. I love cereal. Also. Yeah. Do you like waffles? Mm, kinda, but sometimes I really love crunchy bacon. My goddamn cardiologist said that I don't get to have waffles anymore <laughs> because my blood oh. sugar is is just astronomical. You see, <laughs> but you can forty-eight a waffle is my blood you, sugar. Forty-eight. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's quite high. Quite high, yeah. I'm having a problem, but I I I now find myself uh, every morning I slice a uh, Macintosh apple, 
in eight pieces, and I wow. have just a dollop of all natural organic Costco peanut butter, a tablespoon. Mm. And I eat the apples and the peanut butter, and that uh, seems to do it. Uh, but it's not going to grow. It's not going to grow back any of my toes. <laughs> they're they're gone. They're gone for good. Mm. They're not coming back. And I had, it's really thrown my balance mm. off. I uh, I fell it's down the I fell down the stairs last week, the last mm -hmm. three the last three coming down from my duplex it was, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I I was damn close to breaking my femur. Mm -hmm. Strangely enough, I was going to breakfast. Yeah. I was going mm -hmm. to breakfast. <laughs> my favorite used to be my favorite meal. Mm -hmm. Big big plate of steaming waffles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, uh, what's your, you what's, your, to, you what's, show, what's um, your what's your what's your name? My name is Angel. Angel. Oh, just call me. Do mm -hmm. you know Juice Newton, the singer? Mm -hmm, yeah. You like breakfast, and she sang a song called yeah. Angel, Angel of the Morning. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Isn't that something? <laughs> Isn't that something? Just call me Angel of the Morning. <laughs> yeah. You're quite a good singer, Oh, right? dear God. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I've had an accident. I'm going to have to get off the line. Mm -hmm. I uh, mm -hmm. I think I've soiled myself again. Age mm -hmm. is a terrible thing. <laughs> the whole says no, but the mind says yes. That's how that works. Angel, I've got to run now. Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my groceries. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay for my groceries today. No freebies for me. Mm -hmm. All right? Just hope I don't fall because of my toe. I have 11 messages. <laughs> All right, Angel. Thank you so much, Mr. Pierre. You want to have a, do you want to say goodbye now? <laughs> yeah. If you I want, wish, you can drop the call. I, I wish you a blessed day. God bless you, Angel. It's been so, so much, much fun talking too. to you. I don't get a chance to chat with people very <laughs> often. And it was you're a very nice mm -hmm. young man. You are a young man, are you? I all this pronoun yeah. crap nowadays, you know. I I hope you have a great day. Okay. You too, Mr. Pierre. Have a good day, Stacey. Your pipe. Bye, Frank. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> And scene. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that, was that was wonderful. It. That's it. We uh, have to take a short break. When we come back, uh, we've got some beautiful video uh, with uh, Rob Spiewak, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy that. That was uh, Angel. That's Angel the of the name. morning, Mike. The angel caught me by surprise. Sure. Oh, we'll hone and refine that. I know that's something we're going to do again. That yeah, was fun. Yes, we'll like be right it. back, everybody. Hey, how would you like to be the most interesting person at the Halloween party? Just show up with a bottle of wine from an independent winemaker with a truly unique story. Fabulous. This podcast is sponsored by Naked Wines, a subscription service that seamlessly connects you to the finest independent winemakers on the planet so you get a box of the market's best quality wines for a fraction of the price you'd normally pay in stores. With our code, you can get six bottles for just $39.99. Naked Wines believes that great wine is an experience that helps you connect with your friends, family, and community over a shared bottle of vino. Turn off the noise of the outside world and uncork a bottle to celebrate the little joys in life. Plus, you can pause or cancel at any time. Now is the time to join the Naked Wines community. Head to nakedwines.com slash TMOS and Put in our code TMOS for both the code and password, and you'll get six bottles of wine for just $39.99 with shipping included. That's nakedwines.com slash TMOS and the code TMOS for six bottles of wine for $39.99. Buddy, have a drink. I said it was beautiful video. We're a little ahead of the game with that one. I wanted to talk to uh, Mr. Soroka. Uh, about uh, you were concerned about I, I wrote it down let me see where is it Josh I'm trying to see it here I was concerned uh, 
Uh, oh, no, no, no. Rob returns to high school. Are you seriously going back to do that again? Are you going back to Tuscarora? I did it once because the guy that coordinated it back in the day, I, you know, I was the high school football announcer when my kids were at Tuscarora uh, because it was a good way to volunteer at the school that didn't involve like doing a bake sale or anything. It was though, you know, every parent has to give something back or you're, you're looked down upon. Well, it was homecoming weekend and, uh, Tony Talent, that's the name of the guy that coordinates for the team. Great what name. was his name? Tony Talent. T A L O N, like, uh, like, no, like a bird's T -A claws. T A L L E N T, like you, Talent. Tony like his, Talent? That's his birth name, or that's did his, he make up a stage no, name that's for himself? No, that's his birth Boy, name. Boy, I wish you gave me that name before the next prank call. You know, uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> I'd like to do that. Tony Talent. That'll be a Tony lot of fun. Tony Talent. But his guy had a family emergency, and he asked if I could fill in. And I said, yeah. I even still had my soundboard of, you know, things that you play at a football game. So I went out and I did it. But you know what? The magic is gone. I didn't have my regular spotter. I didn't. Uh, know anybody in the booth there was a really talkative ref in the booth that i could have done without and uh it was just what do you mean a talkative time. ref the guy that is uh one of the refs jobs is there's you know several guys in stripes but this is the guy that was up in the announcer's booth with the control for the scoreboard so he's the one that has to update like you know second and third ball on the 35 and is he the chatting while he's doing all, this all the time oh he, not cool you gotta focus when you have that gig and he he was forgetting to put stuff up which is i you know i'd have to repeat it and it would be wrong and then my spotter to my right at one point he just says oh i'm sorry i forgot i was watching the game <laughs> and i said yes you're supposed wow. to watch the game so he's like bored yeah, he is bored. And he started in the fourth quarter saying it was, oh, by the way, congratulations, Tuscarora, on their homecoming game, 49-0. Wow. Pretty, did, pretty, you get, did, they, did they reach out to you to do this again, or did you yeah. seek them out? No, they called me. Uh, wow. Tony called me. You made such an impression like three years ago, four years ago. When's the last like time was, you did it? It was pre-pandemic. It might have been 2020. Wow. Congratulations yeah. on your game. But it was, it was fun a certain amount, but... You, I tended to feel like an outsider because I didn't know anybody there. It was weird because, you know, when my kids were there, I knew some of the kids and everything. But what was fun is always fun. And I did it for three years, I guess, to call the homecoming game because you get to announce the homecoming court. And then at the you end, sound like that's your one off that you're not going to do the regular games. Are well, you gonna do no, no. I mean, I, I told him if he needs a fill in, he can call me, but I didn't want to <laughs> commit to doing so it. So when you started this. Did you yeah. have designs on doing this perhaps for the entire season? No, no, no. It was oh, simply so it's a one -off. one off. It was a one off. Yeah. Well, who's the regular dude that they usually get to come in there? Uh, another parent that uh, okay. had a family emergency. Okay. But also, you know, well, I don't mind. You. That's nice of you to do. I that. don't mind That's helping terrific. them out. But uh, and you go mentioned ahead, I'm sorry? you mentioned that you take your soundboard with you. What yeah. type of sounds do you play? Oh, when it's fun. A football game. Oh, well, let's see. Let me go to the football board here. I think the most popular... <laughs> Broadway is, sounds, like uh, <laughs> right. uh, tu well, that's Tuscarora with another touchdown. <laughs> no, for the touchdown, people like this. I like that. Okay. Because I it like really fills... They've got a great sound system that you can hear almost a mile away, so it's fun. And then, you know, you got your football songs for... You know, get the crowd pumped up. You've got this one. So I have all those. And then a couple jive things. I love this. That, that's a baseball sound effect. That's not a football sound effect. <laughs> I think it works. People enjoyed it. And then uh, wow. one of my favorites is if there's a long time out, you do this. So tired, tired of Timely. Waiting. Well, I also do this. That's only thirty years old. Well, Mike, you gotta you gotta play to the parents, the, the audience, the, 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 the kids don't care. Have you been to a game with the regular guy doing it? Does I have he not. play all these sound effects? No, no, he doesn't bring the show. Business. We have a clip. We have a oh, uh, clip you do. Of the, Fantastic. Yeah, we have a clip of the uh, 
of the regular guy. Play the clip of the regular guy, please. Stripping down butt naked, bending over. All you could see was cellulite hanging in pubic hair. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh, and the, perhaps the most popular thing to play is this. Well, well I don't get <laughs> the not that. That's cold, not the guy. <laughs> this brings him to life every time. Bah, bah, bah. They love that. A and then, you know, you get stuff. to. <laughs> oh, but, that's oh, you left out a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, um, did, uh, did Reba make it into the game this week? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> you're making that you're working me like a toilet. All right, there you go. Hey, everybody, this is Reba McIntyre. <laughs> she was not there, but I got to do my favorite joke, which is, uh, you know, you got a full stand on your side, on the home field side, and then there's like maybe 86 people on the visitor side, and you get to get on the mic and you say. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been informed by the stadium authority if the people on the visitor's side could move a little closer together and make some room for their friends. And and does, that, big, does anybody get that? Yes, they do. You get a big laugh on that. And also right. announcing the stadium attendance at 68,000. This is what is Rob plays if the other team scores a touchdown. So what do I want me to do, drop my pants or fire a rocket? <laughs> I use all all Rickles cuts for the uh, There you the go. And I'm complaining about being old, and I'm playing <laughs> that. <laughs> but in any case, it was nice to go back, but I'm not sure I will do it again. Uh, certainly Don't not forget to visit regulation. the snack bar. I don't like spam! I did that too. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and oh, also, Mike, funny. thanks to all the volunteers on the Booster Club who makes this fun for everybody. And uh, regarding ticket prices for this year, the rent stays like a buffalo. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm suddenly just projecting myself into that booth. That's cool. Well, good you for would, you. You know what? You would enjoy it once. I think you would. I well, don't I've think you want to I normally do PA at uh, professional sporting events. Mm. That's, mm. Uh, probably... When they hire you. <laughs> yes, when they hire me. Yes. That's Sometimes it. you're left aside. Yes, yes. Uh, is that like throwing me under yeah. the bus for not well, getting the gig well, here well, in the, uh, yeah, the, the Red Sox? Fort Myers got that. Yeah, God, I didn't. The get Red that Sox, uh, Tony Talent, never called you. No, no. <laughs> well, they called me for a you know for a callback. I got two callbacks, and then they told me I wasn't a full time resident. And if I'd had the gig, by the way, last year, same yes. guy. Same horrible, horrible really? guy doing PA for the Red Sox. So there's that. If they'd hired me, but I wouldn't have done it. I would have done it for a year, and then I would have gotten burned out because mm, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be at every. Would you play game. the sound effects? Uh, yeah. If they if they wouldn't let me, they <laughs> no, wouldn't they've let. Got, me. They've got their own guy that just plays sound effects. You right. See, that's why I'm great. I'm a one man band. I bring mm-hmm. my own iPad. <laughs> Stripping down, butt naked, bending over. And all you could see was cellulite hanging in pubic. <laughs> Tuscarora. How about that? All right, we got to take a break. 49 and the Phoenix Zero. We'll uh, take a break and we will come back with uh, more fun and uh, beautiful video from Rob Spiewak. Yes. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, on the Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. And you'll get your reward in heaven for what you did, Rob. That was that a selfless is act. So doubtful. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Ain't going to happen. There's so much to love about October, so make sure you're at your best with Liquid IV's new hydration multiplier plus immune support, Mango Passion Fruit. That's the flavor. It's because it says new hydration multiplier plus immune support, Mango Passion Fruit. That's the flavor. That's the name of the whole thing because this uh, is immune support and and the flavor. It's one item. Five times the daily value of uh, vitamin C and three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink. You can give your body the immune support it needs while treating yourself to a taste of the tropics. Aloha. Book them, Dano. This hydration multiplier plus immune support is scientifically formulated to support a healthy immune system with five times the daily value of vitamin C in every serving to give your body all-in-one hydration and immune support for everyday wellness, vitality, and rehydration. Plus, Three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, eight essential vitamins and nutrients, and always non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. Tear, pour, live more. Liquid IV, one stick plus 16 ounces of water, hydrates better than water alone. Support everyday wellness with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TMOS at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com, everybody. Hey, I like that. Some beautiful video. Jerry Todd.
I know there's a phrase in the NFL. Uh, you don't want to throw a pick, Mike. You don't want to throw a pick. Uh, or sometimes even you don't want to throw a, uh, you know, you, you got the pick sixes that are out there. But the pick of a quarterback is important, especially if every, all eyes are on you like Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Let's see this pick. And play a Thursday night game against Houston on oh, Halloween dear. at Met Into Life. the mouth. <laughs> oh, he ate it. it. He did. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, Here we Aaron go Rodgers. in slow motion. Pick, pick. Gary goes, he gets it. He, he and... rubs it. He rolls it. Yeah. And in his mouth. Oh! <laughs> slow-mo. Mike. Super slow -mo. Cameras are always on at the big football game. Yep. And as far as I know, he like is. The Jets the... aren't playing badly enough. They thought they'd throw that in there, right? Mike, he's the only Jeopardy host to ever pick and eat. That is so nasty. Except for Art Fleming, of course. Uh, Mike, have you seen? Uh, have you seen anything about this movie called Woman of the Hour? It's like uh, it's on Netflix. I've heard about it. I watched uh, last night. Uh, let's see. It had Glenn Close in it. The uh, Natural. The no, not The Natural. Big it, chill. It, it was a. It was a comedy that. Oh, had... 101 Dalmatians. No, it was not that. I've got why am I blocking on it? Oh my god, what is wrong with my brain? This is dementia that I can't remember is the it main recent or actors. Classic? Uh, it was Peter Dinklage and it was Josh Brolin. Uh, they played uh, Brothers. That's what it was. Oh, uh, it was so long. unrewarding. Yeah. Fine, okay. Yeah, a comedy with uh, with Glenn Close who Tends to be unrecognizable in uh, well, some of her most recent roles. Some of yes. her, she's had a lot of Dinklage. You know what? He should get best supporting mustache because yeah. that was a great mustache. But, but it that's... could have been so much better than it was. Yeah, you're right. You know, and, and also okay. as a, who was it? Is it Josh Brolin in that? As he slowly turns. Josh Brolin oh. plays the twin brother of Peter Dinklage and their con men and uh, criminals. That That's uh, the same joke they used with uh, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It wasn't that funny then. It wasn't. And they used uh, the Academy or Marissa Tomei is in it as well. Yeah. So but it's a also hell of a Brent, cast. Brendan really Frazier, is. who also still looks Brendan heavy, Frazier. not whale heavy. but Yeah. He's still uh, carrying a little bit of weight. Yeah, and it really had the potential. But uh, can you imagine taking that cast and having that, and uh, all it required was a script, and it would have been fine. But yeah. it didn't. Yeah, terrible. Well, I'm sorry you spent your time with that. Yeah, I it was think kind that, of a drag uh, last night. Josh Brolin so is it, turning into Joe Hardinger as I watch not, him. So It's not just a Twins remake? No, it's not. No, it's different. Julius, I'm your brother. Yeah, it's uh, it's unrewarding would be the best description of it. I would don't yeah, don't and uh, short, waste your time with it. You know yeah. what? Ninety minutes and it felt long. That's yeah. why it was unrewarding. But great when you're combating jet lag. So uh, I stayed up a little late last night. Okay. It was fine. Mike, so the ha the movie Women of the Ho Woman of the House is based on some Hollywood TV lore that I knew about, but I don't Woman know all the, the details. Woman of the Hour. Woman of the Hour. What did I say? House. Oh, Woman of the Hour. Forgive me. Mike, there was an episode of The Dating Game where someone was set up to date a serial killer. I guess they weren't really vetting all the people that much. Here's a clip from the movie where you can see how they recreated The Dating Game. I'm going to date. Is that it? Yeah. Well, we got a genius. Keep it simple. Number two. I like it, Bachelor number one. Um, bachelor number two. You're the captain of the football team. Go. Hey there, Peggy Sue. You okay? What are you up to? It's shot as a movie and it's dark and everything, but they've done such a great job recreating. Is she reacting to the guy that's on the set? Mm hmm. As somebody who might have tried to kill her or something like that? Just for comparison, look at the, and this is what is so funky about this. They have the real episode that she was on. Is this an. Wow. And doesn't that look exactly like the set we just saw? Yeah. Thank you very much. Is it a good movie? Thank you. I've not seen it tonight. It's on my watch list tonight. I think it oh just dropped. I, I'm ready for some. Three eligible bachelors for game number one. And here they are, Mike. And here they are. And then they bring in the actors. Yep. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to watch it because I love television lore. I love a good story. Wow. But, uh, Scary. What's Scary weird movie. is the host, they have all the dating game stuff, the set and the questions and everything, but the host is not named Jim Lang. It's named someone else, and it's played by Tony Hale from Veep. So he's got, like, big sideburns. He looks really creepy. 
I just they've been a little dicey in what they've been revealing as far as the plot goes. So I'm looking forward. And to what that. is the uh, platform it's on? I think that's, it's on Netflix. 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 Yes. Okay. All right. Woman of the hour. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, let us close with this. If we should have, uh, do you, I have to ask, does Michael still do happy meals? Uh, no. Okay. No, no. Recently there was sort of a, a bump, a blip in the happy meal radar because they started giving away as the toy, mini Crocs, you know, uh, like the horrible one in my shoe. house. Yeah. Okay. So it looks just like the shoe, but it's tiny and little. And this kid figured out he could wear it on his finger. And it's just, you know, kids being kids. What'd you got? A crock ring. A crock ring. Yeah. <laughs> a crock ring. <laughs> a crock ring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that's sick. Finger, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a crock ring. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That is, yeah. I'm not sure I even want to deal with that anymore. That's for sure. That well, all I know is that lady was well, with a serial killer. I and that's love not women. Good. I love women. Ooh, that's trope. my callback that I have to get out of that. E -e -e -e. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow uh, for a brand new episode. I'll have the results of the Navy team taking on the gray team. Yes, Ray. Thanks now that's for the on real ESPN3 tonight. Right. ESPN 3 and uh, Fox 5. Uh, that'll be there for everybody. Uh, for Josh Roke and Rob Spiewak, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. <laughs> Latrobe. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara bonus show. Get it at MikeOmaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Peace be with you. Mm. Lacka. <laughs> How about that?